Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Kirby's Dreamland. I am playing this game to honor the recently deceased Mr. Iwata of Nintendo. Uh, it was such a shame that he died. Uh, he's given so much to the video game community. I can't even believe that he's gone now. I mean, he, see he didn't seem all that old. Uh, it's a shame that he had to go before his prime, you know? But I guess he wasn't exactly young, but he certainly wasn't old enough. So, Kirby's Dream Land is a platforming game released for the Nintendo Game Boy. Uh, I don't know exactly what year, but it's one of... It, it's the very first Kirby game, which it's amazing that he started off on a handheld and made the transition to consoles later. He became such an iconic character. So, we're just gonna fly over these guys, because, you know, why not? It's... I suppose the challenge of this game comes from trying to get a score. But honestly, the score doesn't do much. There's not even a leaderboard in this game. You know? There's something about sucking people up and spinning them at other people, other enemies. It's just extremely satisfying. A lot of platformers don't really have that. Like, you play Sonic and you can jump on things, but it doesn't have quite the same... quite the same impact as launching a, a volley back at a group of enemies. I think this is a monkey. It's some sort of monkey dancing back and forth. Oh, oh god. Come here. And I think, I think they're called uh, Waddle Dees. These things are... God, there's so many things in this game. Oh, here's the thing. Look at look at these guys. They look just like uh what do you call them? The gyroids from uh, Animal Crossing. <laughs> they just ants back and forth. I think I should grab that. My health's a little low. Okay, we got our first boss fight, and uh, it's literally a tree. Hi there, tree. You can just uh, spit his own apples back at him. It's such a cruel fate. Why? I wish I could understand why a tree is uh, capable of blowing air at you. Why are there three Kirby's? <laughs> I never really understood why why there's three Kirby's at the end there. Castle Lolo. -lo -lo. Okay, so this is the first time they give you this. Uh, I think it's a microphone. Yeah, and it just clears all the enemies on the screen. So this level is where things get creepy and there's ghosts and... But we're not afraid of ghosts, are we? We swallow ghosts for breakfast. Oh, I think that was... Ooh, I don't want to suck those. Those masks are nasty. What happens? Oh god. Goofy faced. 
Jack in the Box. Okay. My controls are not being very responsive. Uh, I am emulating this. Uh, I do own an actual cartridge of this game, but uh, I don't have any way to capture uh, Game Boy games right now. And I probably never will, honestly. It's such a niche thing to be able to capture Game Boy games. Like, unless I got a uh, Game Boy player eventually, there wouldn't be really much re other way for me to capture Game Boy games. And now we're invincible! So every platformer's got to have a invincibility upgrade. I don't want to kill as many of these guys as I can, because I don't think I can suck them up. Let's see. Is there something over here? Why is there just an, an empty space? Whatever. Onward to the mini boss. Oh, this guy's great. He looks like a Pac-Man ghost, and he just runs out and kicks boxes at you. I don't know why he does that. But it's just his thing, you know? I mean, I'm not judging. If he wants to kick boxes, he can kick boxes. Uh, oh, there it goes. I didn't even go through a door, I just am here. Magic. I think there's something hidden behind one of these. I could be wrong. I guess they're just score. I feel like I remember knowing where something secret was here. Let's see, there's the door. It oh god! Okay, so this is kind of tricky, because you have to use... oh. Oh, damn. Whatever, they don't force you to... oh, here's a door. I think maybe I was supposed to go through the other door first. So this game's so cute that they even gave the little speak spike guys eyes. They're adorable. Uh, let's see. I think it's this door. Okay, maybe not. Oh! That was unexpected. Oh, what do you know? I was right. So now there's two of them. One of them is a girl. You can tell because she's got a bow. I mean, or maybe it's a guy. I mean, again, I'm not judging. I should have. Got. Me. Oh, come on. No. Come back here. Need that box. Only one more hit. No, this is actually kind of easier because you're not trying to dodge boxes. You just have to avoid running into them. Triple Kirby action! I wonder if that's just how Kirby reproduces. I mean, I don't see Kirby's coming from anywhere else. Oop, he's got a hook in his mouth. That must be painful. Oh god. Come here. They're mine. And I only wanted to grab one of them. Oh god! I don't, don't want to hang out with the pirate fish. Pirate fishes are no. Ow! Jesus. This level just has everything. Oh god! I wasn't expecting him to just attack me like that. Wow, oh, come on. I was trying to save that for the best spot, but... Oh, I better find some health soon. I'm sure there is. I mean, this game is extremely easy. 
It's not a very challenging game. If you want challenge, you gotta play extra mode. up here. Ah, there we go. Get ourselves a little upgrade. Well, not upgrade, a top off. Okay, let's... Where are we now? We're on the beach. Ooh, this is great. I love this upgrade. It's like being invincible, except you also get to shoot stuff. Oh, it's making my computer lag. Oh yeah, uh, so I am emulating this. But I do own the cartridge. Uh, put up a picture of it. Put up a picture, Barry. Yeah. I mean, I got nothing to do with Barry, but there's the picture. <laughs> so that whale is is just basically a, Deus Ex Machina to get me into the clouds. There's no other reason for me to be up here. Except that I was blown up here by a whale. Now this is going to... I don't know what this thing is. I've, uh, I've always wondered. And you know, it kind of looks like a nut to me, but that also doesn't... I mean, unless you're allergic to nuts, and that's why it makes you poof up like this. But you just have infinite... Infinite fly ball, uh, infinite air puffs. This boss is actually really fun. It's like playing an old, uh, an old, uh, plane fighting sim, uh, not sim, but, you know, one of those arcade games where you control a ship and destroy enemies coming at you. Bubbly clouds. And so now they just... Every other level before this has just been no real transition or reason why. But this one, there's a re they just showed you the real reason why you're here. It's sort of sort of weird. It kind of stands out. This is the only map in the game, the only world in the game, uh, where you actually have a good reason for being here. Well, sort of a good reason. I mean, I'm not sure that random whale in the middle of the ocean really counts as a good reason. But it's a better reason than other levels. Oh god, I forgot about these! Okay, so these guys, if you try to suck them up, they will kill you. Don't... I just didn't want to do that. So you just have to kill them in other ways. They're one of the few enemies in the game you can't suck up. Adorable. So small. And I don't even have arms. <laughs> they were just helmets. Oh. We got the uh, cool guy ghosts coming through. And I, I screwed up and. Ah! I can't tell. Are they becoming cyclopes? Cy Cyclopean?
I think this is a mini boss. Nope. Not a mini boss yet. Oh, he's killed by the goofy guy. How disappointing. I think this game has checkpoints all over the place. Now, video games do this a lot. Having the main character hang out uh, up in the clouds. And they just make, they want you to believe that you could stand on clouds, but in reality, none of these guys would really be able to hang out up here. They would just uh, fall through the ground. Ow, oh, seriously? Wow, I didn't even get past this. Okay. We're gonna speed run through this area. Right. Come on, go! Okay, we did it. Here's the first, uh, this is the mini boss. And the funny little, uh, funny thing it does, since this game was built for black and white, uh, when you play it with the Game Boy Color co uh, palettes, the little, his eyeball looks like, uh, you can see the whole square tile that represents him. And it all appears pink. So there's a box of pink surrounding the circular enemy. It's kind of an odd little... Odd little, probably a hugely unintended problem the game has. It's not even really like a big deal though. So we're gonna grab this thing and. Oh yeah, we wanna go through to the right places. Right here, for example. So we can get some health. I'm glad we got through there before. Uh, before the power-up ended. That area becomes a real pain if your power-up is no longer running when you get there. Because then you got to suck each and every individual block to make the path you want. Does this lead anywhere? Or is... Okay, that was a bad idea. It's kind of lame that colliding with the uh, ground is what triggers it. Well, since we have enough health, we're going to take the high route and see if we can find anything. No, there's nothing worth mentioning. Anything down here? Okay. Ow. Okay, I think... Oh, this is another shooting power-up. This one's a lot easier to make sure you get through, though. Like, the chance of you screwing this one up is pretty slim, because it just... Uh-oh, I might have just screwed it up, actually. Nope. It's just fine. That's, uh, not really... Uh, it's kind of a pointless section of the map, honestly. There's no reason for to do that. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh, was I supposed to go up? I thought I was supposed to go down here. So we're going further up into space. You can see the moon there, finally. The moon sure is high in the sky. Ah, here we go. See? You can see the little whole box there. Oh, and now... I don't know why he becomes a storm cloud. With spikes, of all things. Aw, 
Honestly, I think that this is easier than the previous form of his fight. Because you just have to hug the corners, basically. And just wait for him to launch, throw down ammunition. That hardly never, ever happens. Oh, he didn't even do his storming attack where he sweeps across the middle of the screen. Alright, now we're on Mount DDD. We're already near the end of the game. Can you believe it? See, it's, it's a very short game. This probably won't even be split up into episodes. We're probably just going out with a single one on this. Alright. And of course, there's tons of pictures of DDD and a boss rush. So let's start with the oldest. I guess it's not really a boss rush. It's a big level that has pieces of every level. It's actually a pretty cool way of doing things, I think, because it gives you a little extra challenge before you have to face the boss again. And for whatever reason, uh, you have to collect Kirby's in order to open doors? Where did you come from? Why is there another Kirby? Aside from the ones that I spawn from touching stars. Alright, versus the tree, part two. Ah, okay. Ah, damn it. Take that, tree. Mm, okay. Let's go with these guys next. Oh, I guess you can take those out with just... Oh, no! That was the first mask I triggered the entire game. Can I land here? No. There's a dancing Kirby. He really likes this music. Dance, Kirby, dance! Okay, these two again. Almost missed that one. It's pretty much exactly the same as before. They don't do anything to really jazz these boss fights up until you do extra mode. Okay. Oh. Wow, I didn't die when I was doing a test run of this. I didn't know it brings you back here when you die. Well, that's interesting, so there's no real checkpoints. Okay, so instead of doing that one again, we're just we're gonna go up here. We'll come back to that one in a minute. Whoa! Calm down, Shelter. This is actually uh, a lot harder to control with an analog stick than I was expecting it to be. Okay, here we go with the walnut power-up. Uh oh, I was worried I was going to be facing the wrong direction there for a second. And 
haven't found any health power-ups yet, so this is going to be bad. Okay, two down, two to go. Hopefully I can find some health in one of these, because I am very nearly halfway down again already. Do I have to tr- oh, I do. Ah. Oh. There's no benefit to eating the enemies. It's so weird. You'd think they would have given you, like, a health power-up or something, but no, there's no point bonus, no... no nothing. No reason to eat enemies in this. Now, as long as I play it safe, I should be able to handle this boss fight without any... okay. Damn it! I don't want to go into anywhere with just one. Oh, and I don't think I get any continues. Oh, I hope I can pull this off because at the rate I'm going, I will. I, mean, I only have the what life I'm on left. If I don't find some sort of health, I'm screwed. So I'm just going to stay away from you. I'm the sp oh, okay. Well, I can't go that way. Come on, there's got to be a health power-up around here. Oh, okay. That was... Man, there's still no health. I can't go into the next fight with just one... one health. Uh, is there... Oh. Okay, well I might be able to beat this, but I doubt I can beat DDD with just one hit. Maybe this time he'll show us his charging attack. No? Oh, how lame. He's just... He's not even going to show us his most interesting attack. You know, for how late this boss shows up in the game, he might actually be the easiest boss in the whole game. Come on, just drop one more for me. One more delicious Waddle Dee. Come on. Do it. Oh! Holy crap. Well, he did it. <laughs> and I almost died. Twice in a row. Oh, I can't believe I survived that. That was awesome. Oh! I'm so glad he finally did his really cool attack. Okay, all that's left is, uh... King DDD. Oh, I've only got one heart, one hit left, so. Okay, so the trick here is to avoid most of his attacks, but you want to bait him into using the hammer in the oh, in the right place, so that you can grab it with your sucking attack. Like that. For the most part, you can just fly over him. Oh, I've triggered him way too far. Oh, no! Ah, oh, not again. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, so lame! Oh, come on. Continue. 
Okay. I was worried that that wasn't going to let me continue. Although I think I have to refight all the... Oh, no, I don't. Okay. So, that's a pretty good example of just how catered towards children this game is. It's extremely easy. The chances of you dying completely are, are very slim. And it's very forgiving. Oh, okay. Take back what I said. It's not that forgiving. It's forgiving enough, but Jesus. Sometimes... Oh, come on. I need you to do it here, not there. Oh, I missed it. Idiot. I'm over here. Okay, we got one. About time. He's holding up the little victory symbol up there. This game is so Japanese. Whoa! Okay, so that's the other time you can get him to to give you stars for attacking him with. I forgot he did that. Come here, DDD. I feel like a matador. Oh, good. He didn't pull out his hammer for that one. Come on. You're not going to catch me. Pulling his health down faster than he can pull mine. Ah, oh, damn. Okay. I might not be as safe as I thought. Oh, get out of there. Okay. Come at me, bro. But not like. Stop it! Ah. Oh. Bastard! Oh, no! Oh, man. Okay, so... This boss fight's actually pretty hard. <laughs> Did that register? I wasn't paying attention. Wow, we've already got three hits in. This is great. I think we're off to a great start here. That's no time to get cocky. It's okay, it's okay. We're at even health right now, so... It's actually going really well. It's a good thing I did that. Uh... escape right there. Okay, so we're down to the last hit. I probably should have gone for that. Come on, give me the hammer. What exactly am I sucking up here? The kinetic force of his attack? We win! No more King DDD. There he goes, flying off into the sunset.
We got all five stars, I guess. Now, this is great. This is the best part of the entire game. Kirby becomes an air balloon. A hot air balloon. And blue for some reason. And then pink again. I'm just gonna sit here and do a little dance to this music. Uh, you can't see it, but it's extremely dorky. Because this is like this is the best game music ever. I love this game. This game is so happy and feel good. Now, if I remember correctly, Mystery Wada is not. Uh, credited in this game, which is a shame, because it probably couldn't have been made without him. We'll see if his name appears. So many players. I think that includes me. Kirby's Dreamland, presented by... How Laboratory... 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 And Nintendo. Thank you for playing. Thank you for watching! Uh, that was pretty fun. Oh, here comes the castle. The stars came to the rescue because Kirby's just not good enough. What is going on here? Uh, I can't really figure... I mean, are those other Kirby's eating the food that falls? Oh, and here we go. Good job. Press up A and select on the title screen to start a new adventure. Up A and select. And uh, it just sort of sits here on this screen, I think. There's DDD throwing a fit. And then he hits the ground some. And he's generally a big baby. Okay, so I'm just going to give you a quick idea of what extra mode is like. Let's see. Reset. So, up. A, and select extra game. Okay, so, this game was really easy, but extra mode is so freaking hard, oh my god. I can't even get- oh, I forgot the controls again. I've been using them for the last 40 minutes, and I forgot the damn controls. So as you can see, there's a lot of faster enemies about a lot of changed enemies. For example, that was a mushroom before, and now it's some sort of weird Danish thingy that fires... It's a jelly bean, I guess. With this health. It's like, I'm pretty sure a lot of this health that's put here was not put here to help regular mode players. So there's considerably more enemies. And it's a really good way of reusing everything in the game so the player has more to do. Because you really have to be good at this game in order to get through this stuff. Oh, see, I screwed up the bomb toss there. Oh! See, that's new. It doesn't do that in regular mode. The little dash attack is really annoying. Okay, I want this. The easiest way to take care of the weird jelly bean guys. Ow. Oh! Sneak attack. Okay, well that's it for now. Until next time, uh, you know what, actually, I want to get to the, the boss of this first. I want to show you just how hard that is. That was kind of my whole whole point here. I wanted to show off the tree boss in this fight, in extra mode, because he is way harder. Just like on extra mode, it doesn't really, it doesn't ease you into things like, like it does on easy mode, on normal mode. It sort of starts you off at the difficulty that you were when you end Kirby's Dream Land on regular mode. 
So it just sort of continues the progression from there. It becomes as challenging as if there was a level after the last fight. Jelly beans are delicious. Hmm. Okay, that's what I wanted. Full health. This guy's moving like... Like he's on speed or something. Okay, here we go. Boss room. Here we go. Let's see if I can do this. Bring it on! Okay. See? So now, some of them are not apples. In fact, most of them are not... I did it! I missed! Ah, this is not going terrible, actually. Oh, except that I lost one of my apples. I think I'm actually getting the hang of this. I couldn't do this when I did it in my practice. Oh! Okay, well... That's just a... There's an example. Until next time... Oh, uh... I mean, if, if some of you guys want me to do extra mode, you know, leave a comment, let me know. But uh, until next time, I don't have a catchphrase. Goodbye.